Hey, Ray Hayden here, and in this video, I wanna talk about camera equipment, right? Um, the reason for that is because I wanted to play around with this camera here. This is the Canon XHA1. It's a prosumer, was, it was a prosumer camera back in the day, and uh, this camera did a lot of work for me over the years. You can see down into the lens with this thing, huge lens, um, a lot of manual controls here, a lot of automatic functions, you could have just hands-on control over this, this entire uh, uh, camera, but this particular camera used to take one of those little mini DV tapes in it, one of those little small uh, tapes, tape, right? You could only record an hour worth of video at a time, so it had that limitation to it, but this particular camera, this was my baby, and I never let this thing eat a tape. This one here, always recorded to an external recording device. This is a Focus Enhancements DTE-4. Uh, it's an FS4 Pro, so it had a 100 gigabyte drive in it. I'll come back to that. But it could only record 720p. The camera shot 1080i, which, oh, okay, good. That's a high quality, high definition TV, right? Back in the time before we knew better, right? Uh, and then 720p is what it output. I was like, okay, well, it's HD, right? Yeah, it's HD, but it's not full HD. So it never really could do 1080p, but it did do um, 720p. Uh, excellent, excellent camera. However, uh, for, what it was, uh, for what it was at the time, it, was, uh, it did four thirds, you know, four by three aspect ratio, but it also does, and you can make it the primary function, widescreen 16 by nine, all right? So this did widescreen from the, right out of the box, and it's, it was really, this was, a, this was probably my number one best camera in these kind of cameras. The other really fantastic thing about this is this is a microphone cable plugged directly into the side of the camera. I could take my microphones, and because I used a table microphone like I did in my live feed today, um, uh, this is a, actually, the, every component was, was custom matched by me to work together to get the job done. I realized I only needed two microphones out on the table because it's a meeting, everybody's talking loud enough to be heard, so I'm gonna be able to hear them on my microphones and there's a built-in mixer right in the camera back here. These two knobs allow me to adjust the, uh, the video, the audio signal right here. So I can, if somebody's talking too loud, I can turn them down. If somebody needs to be heard a little bit better, I can turn them up based on their proximity to the microphone. Now, if I was at a job where I had to have a, an additional microphone, I could bring my microphone mixer with me, but I would have to know about it in advance. So for pretty much actually every job I ever shot, this was good enough with just two table microphones uh, spread out as need be. Unless I knew about something in advance, and I don't think I ever, I never, for this camera, I never had to bring the extra microphone mixer. That, but I have it. Now for this camera over here, <laughs> let's turn these babies sideways. We'll point them at each other like they're dueling, dueling cameras. All right, we'll close his little flip out screen. We'll close his up, make them smaller. This is my current camera. This is my go-to professional camera. I love it to pieces. It's full 1080p. They no longer make it. It's also a Canon. And this one here is the Vixia HFR 500. The 500 model means that it doesn't have any internal storage to it and you have to bring your own SDXC card. This one here has to be 64 gigabytes. Remember, I talk about this hard drive had 100 gigabytes to it. I could put 128 or 256 gigabyte uh, card in right here in the side. I'm good to go all day long. Not only that, when I get done videoing, or when I get done shooting my video for the day, take it back to my laptop computer, my desktop editor, bang out the job, copy, it, copy the files over, because I do, I copy the files over to make, make sure I have them. Uh, plus, I keep them on the card until I'm done with the whole project. Then I reformat the card and erase the card. But uh, look at the size differential here. The weight, I mean, this doesn't even have the battery in it. This has the battery attached to it already uh, back here. And it's like a slightly extended battery uh, for extended life. I never use battery. I always plug in everywhere I go. But uh, I had migrated from these semi-professional or prosumer cameras down to this completely consumer camera with full automatic controls for the most part. I can manually control things. I just have to flip open the screen and it's a touch screen. So you might see some fingerprints on here because when I need to, I will go ahead and manually focus or adjust the lighting and things of that nature. I will jump in and I can do it while I'm recording. So I found that out, thankfully, uh, that I can actually make these changes while recording because sometimes on some 
recording equipment over the years, you couldn't. Once you started recording, you pretty much locked into what you had. But that's what I loved about this particular camera, and I still use this camera to, the de to this day. This is the camera I use today, except for YouTube videos. On YouTube videos, I use this camera, and this is my cell phone camera. Um, I can't think of a better device ever. In all honesty, from this day forward, my number one go-to device is going to be, okay, cell phones. My cell phone has a flip out monitor, which far exceeds the size of this one here. Okay. This monitor, the flip of the front facing camera has that great big monitor on it. This baby comes nowhere close to it. All right. Plus I can do the settings on this with, uh, using open camera software. I can adjust the settings and everything. Um, I can't adjust a whole lot. It doesn't have a whole lot of settings that I need to adjust. It usually just does a good job out of the box. Um, open camera software. So I'm really good to go. But for the most part, I will be using probably on all my videos going forward to the very, very best of my ability, my cell phone camera. Okay. Here's another benefit with these cameras here, both of these cameras, if I'm powered up and plugged in and I have the batteries in the bay, right? The batteries are plugged in. I can't charge the battery while I'm going in this particular unit while I'm shooting video right now, uh, I do have the power plugged in the phone's charging the whole time. So it's just, you really can't beat the convenience and everything. And if I needed to, in a pinch, use my uh, front face, the regular, I'm sorry, the main camera on my cell phone, it shoots 4K. Neither one of these cameras come close to that. So with that, that's my experimental video for today. Um, just going over my Vita programs for a video every day in April. So until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.